This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm trapped in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Bullet Ballet, a 1998 drama from director Shinya Tsukamoto. It follows a businessman who grows depressed after his girlfriend commits suicide. He ends up obsessed with the thought of killing, first through his desire to have a handgun of his own but eventually becoming involved with gang warfare after an encounter with a member he had saved from a suicide attempt. This gang member soon becomes the target of the man's obsession, and he is driven to thoughts of killing her. But soon enough, the two end up finding that they have more in common than expected. The film is very stylized, shot in a stark and highly contrasted black and white, with a slick but gritty visual style and a story pacing to match. The world of Bullet Ballet is dirty, both physically and morally, and the movie refuses to take a step back and try to find any sort of traditional beauty, perhaps because there doesn't seem to be any in this neck of the woods. It's an ideology that similarly seems to affect the film's characters as well. Besides the lead businessman and his obsession with death, the members of the gang he meets with are similarly nihilistic and, at times, visibly suicidal. Their tune does seem to change when their lives are more directly threatened, but until then they run through the streets seemingly without a care for their own safety much less that of others. In this, it's a contrast to the lead's nihilism, which remains inward and is only really expressed in more calculated measures. In fact, despite the implications of the film's title, the violence of the film comes not only through physical means, but more through the self-destruction of characters. Bullet Ballet's pacing is, again, pretty well done, cutting through time with a rather jumpy and uneven timing, but generally in a manner befitting the scenes in question. That is, it's confusing and scenes that are more chaotic, while other sequences are far more clear and often slower, giving the characters time to actually sit down and reflect. Cinematography also follows this idea, with wider shots emphasizing the emptiness and loneliness of settings and characters, claustrophobic close-ups emphasizing characters feeling backed into a wall, and many of the other usual ideas. It's not entirely too unique, but it helps illustrate the environment and its grit. The film's primary focus is in the end, more on the characters and how they choose to live in this world, or more specifically, how they choose to survive, despite there seeming to be nothing worth sticking around for. Bullet Ballet, Shinya Sukamoto, 1998. Four stars. I'd recommend seeing it, though I don't think I really managed to describe it all that well. I'm not great at describing art house movies. Anyways, that's it for the review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, then leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. In the meantime, I need to find a book of movie reviews to study. Maybe steal the best words for later.